Hey, top of the morning to you. This is Rose Price, a realtor at Landmark Real Estate here in Champaign, Illinois. And what a great morning it is because my favorite, the U of I men's basketball team is playing in the uh, championship tournament. Uh, this game will dictate the Sweet 16 and it's our second game of the tournament. And we expect to be national champions at the end of it. Oh, I forgot. This is a video about real estate. So let's go to that. Today's topic is questions to ask when buying a lot or a land in a subdivision. Stay tuned for my pointers. Hey, back at you. So let's talk about the questions to ask when buying a lot or land in a subdivision. I have a number of them. I'll try to go slow so you can write some of them down. First is, can I build with any builder? Well, technically, the answer is yes, but let's say that you want to build on a lot that another builder owns. In that case, you will need to get your builder to negotiate with that builder to secure the lot, okay? Now, is there a time frame I need to build my home once I purchase a lot? Well, that is between you and your builder and should be stated somewhere in your contract as to a timetable for the completion of your home. Normally speaking, builders will uh, feel much more comfortable to giving you more of an exact date when they get to be 30 to 45 days out to completing that home. Um, how long do I have to complete my home? Yet again, that's between you and your builder. Does someone have to approve my building plans? Well, the builder for sure, and possibly the uh, homeowners association uh, due to covenants that might have some restrictions like outbuildings and that kind of thing. So uh, you'll have to have your builder or realtor uh, check on those kind of things. Are there covenants for the subdivision? Well, there should be. And if they're not, well, you might uh, Talk to an awful lot of people to find out if uh, really what you're considering is a good place to build. Covenants should be a must, and you should see them before you ever sign a contract with your builder. Uh, what are the taxes going to look like? Well, those can you normally be uh, predetermined uh, by calling up the assessor's office in your city, and they can give you an estimate of what your taxes will be uh, for a home that you are building once you give them some description. Okay, um, are there restrictions on materials I can use for my house, like the type of roof? Yes, there could be some restrictions. Yet again, that might be stated in the covenants. You might be in a subdivision where everything is shake roof and that's the only thing that they'll allow you to build. So covenants are important and you should always check them out. Um, is the land under a conservation easement? Uh, well, around here in our Champaign area, our subdivisions would not be, uh, but yet again, something that you should check out. Uh, what rights and titles are included with this property? Like, you know, uh, in regard to road access, uh, mineral rights, development rights, what are those? Uh, are there any? And maybe there isn't, but probably the road access for sure. Um, do I have access to electricity, Wi-Fi, uh, everywhere on the property? Um, that's something you will have to find out from the homeowners association as well. Are there any environmental hazards I should be aware of? Your builder will be your best bet to give you that information should there be any. Has the soil been tested for percolation rate? let you know if the land can absorb water from a septic system should there be uh, a lot that a septic system is uh, suitable for. Uh, your builder will take care of that and find that out before uh, they, they build. Okay, what else? How does the water drain from the property? Uh, yet again, your most expert will be the builder that you choose, so question that you should ask them. And, and the biggie is, is the lot even buildable uh, for your type of home that you want to build? Um, that's a big one, and your builder can decide if it is. 
Are there any liens, rights of way, easements, covenants, or other deed restrictions or encroachments on the property? Um, well, uh, you need a plat map and you can talk to zoning about that. Um, those are all questions that uh, can be taken care of through zoning and your um, builder. Are there any common facilities or common property uh, that the homeowners or developer will need to manage? And if so, uh, how will this be handled? Uh, because if they have to manage it, there'll be, uh, you'll have a homeowner's fee then to cover those costs. And will there be a homeowner's association fee? Most likely, yes. Around here, what we normally see is an annual fee uh, in these subdivisions, probably between $100 and $250 a year. Um, is there any part of your lot or land that's in a floodplain? Um, you know, around here, probably not, um, but should be checked. Does the site have access to electrical power, natural gas, town water, or um, sewer? Um, that usually is in place before you would ever think about uh, building on uh, in a subdivision. What are the setback uh, requirements for houses, porches, decks, outbuildings, or anything else you plan to build? Yet again, uh, that should be somewhere stated in the covenants. And is there adequate uh, road frontage or suitable right-of-way for the building? Is the road publicly maintained? Um, that's important. And are there restrictions on the house size, height, lot coverage, or other restriction? Generally, yes. In subdivisions, you might have to have a 2,000 square foot home with the main level being at least, uh, say, 1,200, whatever the number is. What permits and fees are required and what are the costs, uh, such as building, electrical, plumbing, porch, patio, well, septic, driveway? Check with your builder. Those costs will be yours in the end. Um, are there any special assessments and what are the costs? Um, you need to find out from the association. Uh, that would be where you'd find that out. What is the property's zoning district and are you in a special zoning district? Can I subdivide the lot? Generally speaking, um, you can't, but it's doable uh, if the uh, development says it's doable and they can get through all the city um, uh, red tape. So check on that if you have an intention of subdividing a lot. Any tree cutting or land clearing restrictions, you should be able to see that once you observe your lot. Any connection cost or fees for town sewer service? Um, that is something that you can check with the uh, sewer uh, uh, department in your city. Is there power to the site and are lines run above ground, underground? What will be the total cost to bring power to the home including fees, trenching, and uh, meter in installation? Your builder is going to know just about all these questions. Um, can natural gas be brought to the home? and what is the cost to do so? Probably in the subdivision, all of this stuff is already there. Is there um, power, well, I'm sorry. Um, what are my options for phone, cell phone, cable, or satellite TV, and high speed internet? What are the fees? And you know, what is the school system? If you have children, what schools will your children um, be asked to attend? All that is important to you. So there are some questions there uh, to ask when buying a lot or land in a subdivision. And um, certainly not all of them, but a good deal of them to get you started. So get out there, find a good realtor, find a good builder, find a good attorney. And you know what? You better find some basketball tickets for the U of I game today. It's at 11.15, so I gotta go. So if you like this video, uh, tell me about it. Uh, subscribe uh, to my channel. I have videos that come out every Monday and I would love to hear from you on any topics that you might like for me to uh, put a video on for. So until then, have a powerful day. Go Illini! Yeah.